Alrighty. Here at the field, it's 32 degrees. I'm not happy right now, but I gotta do some testing. So, F16 version three. Um, improvements are, uh, I changed the wing, uh, uh, the, the curvature of the wing a little bit to see if that'll help. Um, and uh, I made some of the parts lighter in the, in the rear of the plane. Uh, just to try and reduce the weight to get a little closer to this guy's weight right here. He's, this is within 90 grams of, um, of the Hobby King. I haven't flown it yet. I'm gonna do a maiden today. Uh, hopefully that works. Um, but uh, same as, uh, as before, the, the uh, on version three, the, <laughs> I did not even glue in these these servos here. These are just press fit in. They're they're so tight it actually broke the PLA to get it in there. I printed these, um, uh, the 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 vertical strakes on the bottom in lightweight PLA, and I gave it a little cheater hole here for a little more thrust, and I cleaned up the inside a little bit. I don't know if you can see um, to help with that. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw it up and uh, hopefully we get a good flight out of it. Of course, the wind is starting right on what I'm about to throw. That's usually the case, but there's not a lot of wind. Oh, and I, and I, um, I put some stronger magnets on the hatch, so it's looking good. All right, let's see what happens. It may crash. Okay. It's flying great. Uh, it's rocking to the right. Slight nose down. I don't wanna, my fingers are frozen, so I really don't wanna play with it. I am gonna release these files today because this thing is flying awesome. It's flying so good, it flies better than almost every 3D printed plane I see on uh, on Colts. So, uh, I'm ready to release it. The files are gonna be up today. I know I keep saying that, but it flies so good with the, uh, the 1300. So 1300 milliamp, it just freaking cruises, dude. And I'm half throttle right now. I'm literally half throttle. I'll go full throttle here. Holy. I don't know what happened. I guess I just had to clean up the intake for the throttle to come. Wow, this thing flies great. I might, I might skip the Hobby King F16 and fly another battery here with this guy. Because honestly, it flies so good. <laughs> the servos are literally press fit in. Let's see the stall characteristics. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna, I mean, it's really, it's kind of windy. So I'm gonna be a little bit more careful, but super happy. It flies so good. I cannot believe that. Oh, see, it likes to drop a wing when it gets slow. And you're and you're on a downward angle. So I have to figure out why the tailorons wanna do that. How is it so efficient right now? I'm at less than half throttle. All right, I hope I don't crash this thing coming in. Oh, okay, so the, the underside strakes 
kind of catch and dig in. But it's better than breaking an, uh, an, an elevator. So I see they're moving. So that's a good thing. Canopy popped off. That's magnetic. That's fine. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. So I think these need to be reinforced. <laughs> they did their job. They, they for sure did their job. Um, I think, oh, it's probably the cheater hole. And between the, the 1300 uh, four cell versus the 1500 and the cheater hole and cleaning up the inside, I believe that this thing has more power than you need. I mean, and it's a super, super slippery airframe. airframe so uh, yeah, no damage except for that little strake there. And I can, I can beat that up a little bit more. Uh, all right, well, I'm super, super happy. I'm glad I, uh, I kept pushing with this guy and I'm going to release this later today. I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if you have any questions about it. And uh, yeah.